Daredevil Season 2, Episode 5, Ken Baku, happened. Uh, I watched it. I wasn't bored. Uh, I didn't hate it. A lot of it was interesting, but it didn't really go anywhere. Uh, the ending of the episode is just kind of a cliffhanger without really concluding anything at all. Like, literally, if you've, you're seen, you've seen the episode, because you don't watch these before you've seen the episode, you saw it just ended right as a big battle's about to happen, and all that's happened between Daredevil and Karen is that they went out on a date. And while that was an adorable date, and it looks like it's going to be a bright, happy relationship until Karen dies, probably in the last episode of the season, because, uh, you know, superheroes can never be happy... What else is there to say? It was adorable. I like it. I think they're cute. And I prefer her when she's doing her investigative stuff. Because all that was great. The stuff where she's digging up the dirt on the district attorney who's trying to basically do what Wilson Fisk did in season one. They try and gain political power in order to serve their own ends. So, you know, you're getting a little redundant there. Uh, but the relationships are interesting. And I think that's what this episode is supposed to be about. The relationships, because it's in addition to telling uh, Matt Murdock and Karen Page's budding, you know, little love affair. And, and I say affair because he's her boss, which is kind of weird. But then you have Matt's relationship with Electra, the new character who just kind of showed up at the end of the last episode. And she's kind of, you know, a thing from her, his past. They had a very dangerous, very fast and heavy affair that wasn't probably the most healthy. And it ended rather abruptly and kind of violently as she kidnaps the man who killed Matt's father and ties him up. And Matt doesn't like that because it it's it's a very informative moment for his life. You know, I, that's why I like the story that Electra puts forward here, why it's interesting. Because, you know, it's that moment in Matt's life where he's like, I will not kill. That's when he really knew his limit. Maybe he knew it before, but the implication that I got was this was that moment in his life where he decided he was above killing, that that was not something he would stoop to do. He would be the bigger bear and take the high road. And that's what ended his relationship with Elektra. Matt trying to be honest. Matt seeing that this isn't what he wanted anymore. Which is interesting. But the episode, again, ends with her just being like, come back to me into my life or not. Maybe I'm just using you because, hey, look, a bunch of ninjas... And now let's watch the next episode. So, it, you know, it's it's just a placeholder. That, you know, it, it happened and then you move on with your life. What else is there to say? Uh, actually, there is one thing to say. The title of the episode, Kinbaku, uh, is the other reason why I think that this episode is all about the relationships. Now, the term is, um, be careful Googling it when you check what I say, because it, it is technically a form of <clears throat> bondage, but it technically means... Uh, an exchange between two people. It's about what is passing between the uh, the person bonding and the person getting bound. And, you know, in this episode we see uh, the guy that killed Daredevil's father getting tied up and left at Daredevil's mercy. So I think it's tying into that, but it's also, it's about what ties us together, maybe. Like, what ties Matt to Electra? That need for danger that he had at that kind of informative time in his life. It now what ties him to Karen, the, the bright future that she promises, the happy relationship and marriage and all those things because she's such a good fit for him. They work together so well and they get along so well. And uh, all these different little things. Like in the beginning of the episode, there's the guy that worked for the district attorney who goes to Foggy and is like, hey, give me this thing. Foggy refuses. And then the guy's like, hey, do me a favor now and we'll have a good relationship in the future. So... Even these episodes that aren't, you know, the best, I'm finding some deeper meaning in. So that's something. They are trying, even if this is a placeholder, because they needed to get to 13 episodes. But whatever. There's something deeper behind it. I want to watch episode 6, so let's get that show on the road. See you then.